so you want to compete in natural bodybuilding? This is my biggest takeaway before competing or doing any sort of natural bodybuilding competition in the future. So stay tuned. All right, bros and brochachos. Biggest takeaway from natural bodybuilding you want to compete. Take food seriously. Now, what do I mean by taking food seriously? Okay, when you're on prep, your calories are gonna range just a bit, right? So you can go out from starting at like 2,000 to 2,500 calories. And last week before prep, it can drop all the way down to like four or 500. So that was my big mistake. Uh, leading to my first prep back in September is I kind of fucked up on that. And I was kind of eating like shit. Like, I ain't even gonna lie, I was eating a lot of chips. Like I'm still within my calorie range, but I did kind of fall off the wagon a bit towards prep. And while I did look fucking great, I kind of wish I took food more seriously, which is why like I'm going down the old school body bodybuilding route this time around for the second prep in February, but that's like my biggest takeaway is if you're going to compete in natural bodybuilding, take the food seriously. Don't think that you can get away with like doing, eating like the way you were before leading to prep because you have to make sure all that shit's on point if you want to do your best. Like I said before, natural bodybuilding is a fun sport. It really is. It's probably one of the best things you can do. If you're really into fitness and you're really into bodybuilding, do it, dude. Like there's nothing stopping you from it. Now, if you want to see an example of what I eat, old school bodybuilding style. Stay tuned, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Ready? Oh, dude, let's go. Some fire, dog. Do you know what's crazy? Mm. Those fries right there, right? Guess how many calories, bro, are in three ounces of these fucking things? How many? Dude, 90. 90, wow. 90, bro. Check it out. If you go to Kroger, Mariano's, wherever the fuck there's a Mariano's or Kroger, they have, they have these fucking things, dude. And then for three ounces, bro, it's 110 calories, dog. So for nine ounces, it's 300. It's even less than like if you do McDonald's or something like that, bro. Are you gonna put the link in the bio? Am I sponsored by them, bro? No, man. No. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by these guys, bro. So no. Old school bodybuilding meal. We got straight up some chicken, dog. Teriyaki chicken, man. And then these fucking things, they're like air fried chicken tenders for three ounces, dog. It's 140. Nice. Damn, we said to eat, bro. How about you plate it and then show everyone how you eat it? <laughs> I was just trying. Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> oh, bro, what a week. No, this thing's been cool, man. And then unfiltered right now, we're about to end the episode. I guess all smaller channels are kind of guilty of doing that when they do a little bit of a motivational thing, but I don't fucking care, dude. I appreciate y'all as always. People behind the camera, people watching this. Like I said before in that, I think the behind the scenes, look at the golden era, there's literally levels to all this. So let's keep pushing the boundaries. Let's keep getting better and better. And let's keep fucking growing, dude. That's my end goal for the fitness game. That's my end goal for the fitness industry. I just want to keep it growing, bro. And want to become the fucking guy, dude. I want to become the top guy in all this shit. So let's keep it fucking going, guys. I appreciate y'all as always. Take it easy. Have an awesome rest of the day. Have an awesome workout. All right, bros. So unfiltered. You guys are watching this the day after golden era so we have to do bro to get the shots it's 32 degrees in shy town just got done two mile sesh my best cardio time so we gotta get the shots baby let's go let's go